And I've got two groups of text in that are going to be very, very similar. So I'm going to select all this text here. I'm going to cut that from the text frame, hit escape, and then pick up my zoom tool and then zoom into this region down here where they're going to be positioned. And then I'm going to select and um, I'm going to um, format them down here in a similar place. Again, I'm going to select those, cut those, and then just shrink that text frame over here and paste the cut text down to here. Just shrink that text frame. Just want to get them out of the way for now. Obviously, I can't click on the images because they're locked in a separate layer. And then I'll just expand that text frame open. So uh, again, from here, then what I need to do is, first of all, I need to select those characters and make them all uppercase and also select everything else. These are going to be uh, left aligned so I can go and then change this all to black style. Again, for the size, this is going to be 23 points. And then for the leading value, that's going to be 22. And we need to tighten the space up between these as well. So again, that's going to have a tracking value up here of minus 40. And then we need to change the fill of that to take a break pink. And then I'm going to hit the escape key because there are two different styles of how the text looks in here. And then just need to move that around in here. So the, um, the stroke for this is going to be applied on the bottom one. So I'm going to double click on there, swipe across those characters and then put on here. This is going to have a fill color of take a break yellow, press the return key. And then for the stroke, this is going to have take a break pink, press the return key. Again, I can just jump over here, increase the stroke weight in there to uh, two points. And then we need to just tweak the leading in here. These are a little bit too far apart. So I'm going to swipe over those two and then just drop the leading down a touch. And then from here, I'll select these characters. They do need to have a slightly larger leading value on there. So I'm going to just make sure that they are set to 23 points. And then for leading value, that's going to be 25, just to space them out of touch. And then um, I'm going to hit the escape key. And I'm just going to use this for reference because to be honest, it's going to be easier if I just take this text frame. Oh, and I've got a little bit of overset text there. So I'll just delete that one and then just shrink the text frame back up again. I'm going to duplicate this one, hover over here, click and drag, duplicate this down here. And then for the title in here, I'm going to swipe over that. That one needs to be holiday fashion. And then this needs to be seven pound. Now, the text above this time does need an outline on it. So I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to pick paper for the stroke. Again, I go over to the stroke weight in there, increase that to two points, then hit escape. And then the text will help be a little more legible in that region on screen. Just move this over here a bit higher up. Zoom out. I can delete this text frame because I don't need it anymore. Zoom out. I'm going to press the W key to hide all the grids and guides. And uh, yeah, that's all our text now dropped along the left hand side of the front cover. The only thing really that remains now is to add in the main titles that go with the, uh, the, the main feature of this, which is about the, the wedding. So I'll do that in the next video.